It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Wrexham Brewery and this is a bottle of their Wrexham Bootlegger 1974 Pilsner Lager coming in at 5% ABV. It's won a gold medal at the Frankfurt International Beer Awards, also a gold medal at the Asia Beer Challenge. Lots of condensation on the bottle. It's been out the fridge about 10, 15 minutes. So it's warmed up a little bit so I can enjoy these hops in the beer. We got a gold bottle cap. Now I reviewed the regular Wrexham Lager. It was 4%-ish ABV. And I thought it was okay, but uh, unremarkable. As I did that, in the comments box of that YouTube video, lots of you guys said, no, you need to try Bootlegger Lager. It's a much better beer from Wrexham. So let's get this beer out into a glass of what we get. Now, Wrexham Lager Beer Company. Good bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass. not going to be bottle conditioned it's a pilsner now we got a one finger white head good levels of carbonation a golden light golden amber colored pilsner it's very good interesting hopefully it'll say on the back of the bottle why they called it bootlegger um, but anyway clear Looks good for a lager. Let's get the aroma. Now that's much more like it. Much more like it. Much more like a, a premium Pilsner. Really crisp on the aroma, on the nose. Light, wafer-like malts coming through. It's a little zesty. <clears throat> In terms of lemon, like a, like a lemon peel. It's also a little kind of stinging nettle-like in the aroma. That will be the traditional, probably Czech hops used to produce this beer. Smells really good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. That's decent. That's a decent quality Pilsner. In fact, stone the crows. Stone the Crows, I mean, Wrexham, they've been pushing this, they've been producing this and pushing this kind of style of beer for years. When I was, I remember this beer as a, as in my early 20s, knocking about this Wrexham lager. Not seen the boot lager, but it's not as if they're a new company producing lager. They've had a nice long amount of time to, to really sharpen their... Sharpen the beer, if you like, make the beer fine tweak it, fine tune it until what we have here today, which is something it's very premium of quality. It's got a, a lovely light multi body you definitely get the grain definitely get the grain coming through carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth releases more of that flavor in terms of hops it's a lovely balanced beer you definitely get that that malty biscuitiness the sweetness from the malt and then you get that kind of nice pilsner-esque 
poppy, dry, stinging nettle finish. The reason why I've mentioned stinging nettle a couple of times in this review is the two, the two kind of hops, oh, let me start again. The hops and the stinging nettle are cousins on the Darwin tree of life. They kind of just branch off in this direction and it's a direct cousin, so it just branches off. And, and brewers have been using stinging nettles to produce beer for hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of years. Before they actually used hops, stinging nettle was the way that you would preserve your beer back in the day. That obviously evolved. Brewers are now they're now producing their own hops, their own, their own hop varieties. They're almost able, with science these days, to produce hops that lean towards kind of orange peel and passion fruit and mango. They're, they're bringing new hops out all the time. They're kind of breeding different hops. So I think one day you'll have that ultimate hop that every brewer wants to use that has a multitude of kind of flavors going on. But before all of that, before of all of all of the science and before they even used hops, it was the humble stinging nettle that was used to predominantly preserve beer. It wasn't necessarily about flavor. It was all about preservation, trying to keep the beer as fresh as possible. Mm, it's very good, very good. I, got, I could drink quite a lot of that, quite a lot of that. It's an awful lot better than the regular Wrexham Lager. And if the guys at Wrexham Beer Company, Wrexham Lager Beer Company are watching, I mean, I have to be honest, I have to be honest, I have to talk, talk and speak how I feel about different beers because if I don't, then my viewers are simply not going to tune in. So um, if you are in the market for a beer in Wrexham, a, a lager from Wrexham, then I'd go with this one. Uh, my spidey senses tell me things are going to get tasty, baby. Uh, 42 St George Crescent, Wrexham, 5% ABV. Yeah, it's an interesting, it's an interesting beer, it really is. Interesting. I think I'm ready to rate it. Um... Best served chilled captain. Uh, there's a lot of kind of, <laughs> a lot of like captain's references and um, there's hats and stuff on the back of the bottle. And like a, I don't know, maybe they're going flying after a few. <clears throat> some chicken, give me some chicken. Give me some spicy chicken breast in breadcrumb and stick that on the barbecue and yeah, with some, fries and yeah friends get some friends over i could drink five or six of these on a sunday afternoon go down really well it's tasty i'm not really touched on the malt i'm just going to finish the finish by touching on the malt it's a it is sweet but it's got a almost slightly wurty flavor coming through at the same time you definitely get a big sense of the malt I've had crisper pilsners, but this is still very, very good. Still very, very good. So, good levels of carbonation, nice looking lager. Very kind of well behaved, well presented, nice aroma. Stinging nettle, malt. Mmm. And a decent, decent taste. I like that. I like that enough to give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.